Just when I think I'm done, <sighs> my mom used to always say, boy, you ain't seen nothing yet. And man, oh man, I remember that. <sighs> you know what? A good co a good friend of mine who is a co-worker, excuse me, said something to me one day. And it made sense what he was saying. Then I explained to him, you know what I'm saying, why I feel the way I feel. And he said that makes sense to him. And what he said was, he don't get mad at women wanting this and that and that and this in a man. You can want whatever it is that you want. Nobody said you could or couldn't. And I said, that's true. That makes sense. It's true. I said, but here's why I don't like it. I said, when you come with these unrealistic expectations, now you got it in your head that you want this, but you don't have to do nothing to get it. Like, I'm just supposed to accept you the way you are, and I'm just supposed to give you whatever it is that you want out of me. But you don't have to do nothing. You see what I'm saying? That's why he was like, yeah, you know what? That makes sense. And that's kind of like what this lady here is, you know, saying. It's it, basically saying and doing here. If a man is making over a hundred thousand dollars a year to provide for you and your two kids, please explain to me why would he want you? What is so special about you that he can't get from another woman? And I'm not talking about her looks. I'm not talking about the fact that she have kids. I'm not talking about the fact that she looks like she's overweight. I ain't talking about none of that. Just in general, what is it about you that a man is going to want you versus another woman? Explain this to me. You know what I'm saying? Because men know if we're making a certain amount of money, we know we more than likely got the we we got the pick of the litter. Morgan Freeman said it his, himself, women will start chasing you. You don't have to chase them, they'll chase you. So <clears throat> excuse me. My question now becomes why would he pick you? You finna say, oh, because I do this, I do that. So can other women. Don't think that you could do something that nobody else on God's green earth can't do. That's give or take. I, I'm not 100% sure. I'm finna throw out a random number. That's about a billion women on God's green earth. And you mean to tell me you the only one that would do this and do that? Good luck with that thought process. Sorry I had to ramble for a minute. But let's go ahead and get into this so y'all can, oh my goodness, y'all can hear this. So now you don't want to go back to work. You just want to find a man that will marry you and provide for you and your children. Yeah. How you want him to look? How you want him to look? How, how, how should this man look? He got to be, he gotta be black. And he black? Be black? Okay. I'm gonna write down all this. You gotta be like six feet. He gotta be black? Okay, hold on. All right. So, you gotta be black? Yeah, he gotta be black because. Uh, black? What's, what's, what's your ethnicity? I'm Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican. You gotta be six feet, right? About, yeah. You gotta make a certain amount of money? Yeah, he do. He gotta make over 100K. Over 100K. So black, six feet, over 100K. Can he have kids? Yeah, he can have kids. He don't mind if he has kids, okay. So um, here, here he is, right here. This is the man for you. This is gonna be him. Black, six feet, over 100K. What's your address so I can send it to you in the mail? Now, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. Now, here go the crazy part. Here go the crazy part right here. He, he, he go the crazy part. Kendra seemed to be getting frustrated with these women. 
that's the vibe that I got from watching this video. Kendra is starting to say, you know what? I think I might be done with this. She's making a lot of money from doing this, but she might be getting tired of y'all women. And she's right. Here goes your man right here. I'm finna send him in the mail. What's your address? She's right. That man that's six feet, make about 100000 why would he want to come in and take care of you and your kids? He can go find him a woman with no kids, start his own legacy, his own family, have less of a baggage with another woman, have his own baggage with a woman. Y'all don't know this. When I got my wife, now granted, I told y'all this before, my wife makes more money than me. But when I got with my wife, you know what my wife, uh, 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 you know what she did? I had a son. Still. We got together, we got married, been together ever since. See you know what I'm saying? She didn't have these high expectations for a man because she knows if she do that, she's going to miss out on whatever God sends her way. She knew that. She knew that. You never know what God is going to send your way, but you don't want them because it doesn't fit whatever it is that you want. You see what I'm saying? It doesn't fit the 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 crazy nonsense that's in your head. That's basically what I'm saying. When me and my wife got together, you know what I'm saying? I was turning my life around. I was trying to, you know, you, you know, t turn over a new leaf as the old folks used to say. So. I even told my wife, I said, I wasn't really trying to get with anyone because, you know, I'm I'm in a place right now that blah, 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 I'm not ready. You know, all that stuff. Hey, when God sends you someone, do not be an idiot and turn it down. And I'll admit, I wasn't ready for a relationship. I, I didn't have shit to offer. My point in telling this story is this. You're not going to always get exactly what you want. But you better be happy that you get something because you know how many women out there who just wish they had someone just to help them. You know how many women have, have said the same thing? Oh, he got to make this. He got to be this tall. He got to look like this. Then when they get older and life starts tearing their ass up, they start coming back and saying, oh, my God, just please somebody on a moped. Please let, <laughs> like D.L. Hughley said, please just some, let me get somebody on a moped just to help me. Please, please. Yeah. And then you get mad when you only get these scrubs because God has sent you a few good men. You just ignored them because it wasn't exactly what you want. That's the point of my story of me saying that. Yeah, it's okay that to want whatever it is that you want. But the problem that I have with it, be realistic in what you want. Kendra G is just fed up. She is. I, I could just see it. I could feel the vibe from this video. I think she's fed up. Let's go ahead and continue to play this. So this the closest you gonna get to a black six feet man that makes over 100k that's gonna provide for you and your children so what's your address or i can email it to you i'm done me too me too and i wish you well what happened honey but how how he's supposed to take care of me and my kids plus himself and his kids and the you know the you know the roof and etc quick i'm gonna be honest with you i'm gonna 
I have a question. I'm sincerely. Are you a comedian? No, I'm not a comedian. No, I'm sorry. But I wanted to I'm be clear because of... people think I have actors on my shows at time, and I need to know: Are you trolling me right now? I'm not trolling. He can't make seventy-five k. He has to make more than seven. All right. Now that y'all didn't. Who we? Now that y'all didn't. Oh my goodness. And then, ladies, do y'all hear y'all selves when y'all say y'all want a man to make X amount of money? Do y'all know what that puts in a man's head? That you only after him for his money. Just like y'all don't like it when we only talk about how your body looks and, you know, what I'm saying what we want to do to you and all that. Y'all thinking we only want you for sex. And y'all feel offended by that. Well, don't you think the same thing goes down for a man? Anyway, my point is this, and I'm going to go ahead and end this. It's okay to want what you want, but don't get mad if that if what you want don't want you. It's okay to want what you want, but don't get mad when you have to change who you are to get what you want. That's the problem with women.